Who could ever forget those incredible, memorable scenes from the world is not enough James Bond movie? I certainly can't. If you're in your uh, late 30s, 40s, or 50s, you very clearly remember when the movie James Bond, The World Is Not Enough, um, with Pierce Brosnan, came out. And uh, the first time I remember when he drove up and pulled up and that dirt road in the Z8, I was instantly in love, as I know many others whom want to have one or own one or maybe owned one in the past can remember and that's what it was all about that they instilled that passion and love in us with those scenes and of course who could forget that final scene the two scenes where uh, for one he uses all the missiles to uh, shoot down the first helicopter and then the second helicopter that comes and chops the car in half uh, which luckily I can tell you that it was not a real Z8 that was chopped up. It was actually a uh, replica with the Z8 panels on it. So it was not a real car. They're smart, so they know what they're doing. Folks, welcome to uh, Alec Cartio Presents. My name is Alec Cartio, and I'm here to present to you this beautiful 2001 BMW Z8, as the Canadians and British say. Um, Z8, as the Americans say, Zetota, uh, as uh, us Swedes say, and Z8, uh, as the Germans pronounce it. The, f the car that was in uh, the James Bond was, was also silver on black, which is the most common and the most desirable uh, color combination in my personal view in the market. Five thousand seven hundred and three Z8s uh, were made during the production time from 1998 99-ish because it was introduced in 98 came out in 99 all the way to 2003 of which 24 2500 came to North America and the rest were for the rest of the world the production of the manual Z8 manual by I mean manual transmissions that it finished in late 2002 and was replaced by the Alpina Roadster Z8 in 2003. Now Alpina does not add to the 5700 cars but rather as always with Alpina tradition they take from the production line and bring it to the Alpina factory and make it into an Alpina version. While the regular Z8 versions with the manual transmission had the S62 engine, which also was in, found in E39 M5 cars, the 555 cars that were made for the Alpina versions used the M62 version with automatic transmission. I've driven both. I've had the pleasure of representing both and they're both great and fun in their own ways. The Alpina Roadster version, while being very strong and fun, is also comfortable and luxurious if you want to use it in heavy traffic and not have to shift. And the six speed is, of course, is more for the open roads and spare to drive and fun. I personally don't recommend it in uh, heavy traffic because um, it could wear your left knee out. What can I say that I haven't said about this incredibly gorgeous, beautiful cars? When I drive these cars out on the road, I come across two uh, types of uh, wanderers. The ones that have no idea what it is and they didn't know that uh, BMW actually made these cars. So they ask me, wow, what is that? What model is it? We've never seen that before. And I tell them it's the Z8 or Z8 and the, the sort of get shocked it's like wow we had no idea they made it and of course you have the type who knows exactly what it is and because they don't see too many of them they go into this shock one is like oh my god oh my god i love this car this beautiful example behind me only has 22,000 original miles on it it is in very well well kept condition 
my client, Mr. Pocket, bought it in February of 2023 from Silver Air Cars Limited at Bear Jackson in Arizona. He enjoyed it while he could, but he doesn't drive it that much. And after he had seen my auctions uh, with other Z8s, uh, he liked the work in the media and, and the stuff that I did. So he sent it out to me to uh, represent it for him. And you see it here behind me in Los Angeles, um, where we have photographed it, sorted it out, some smaller things that it needed. Uh, we've ordered a new mirror for it new front blinker for it, we did a fluid service and uh, did a paint correction and what have you. So the car is ready to go to the next uh, custodian. It of course has some 21 year patina on it, we're entirely the usual spin driven. Uh, <clears throat> the front um, dash leather in front has a little bit of a shrinkage on it and of course the interior has a, some uh, nail scratches in the center and what have you, the usual wear and tear for a 22,000 mile, 22 year old car. Interesting, 22 years and 22,000 miles. That's pretty much exactly 1,000 miles a year. The car has spent time in Canada as well as the United States, around four or five owners, I believe, uh, and everybody took really good care of it. The original owner of the car did most of the driving. And after that, it has been uh, among a few enthusiast owners, uh, namely in the United States, but then also it spent some time in Canada. Silver Arrow Cars Limited bought it for their previous client and they also sold it for him. And it was sent to Mr. Pocket. And Mr. Pocket sent it to me and uh, we are now auctioning it off for him. I tell you the driving of these cars is really, really fun and engaging. You need to sit behind one and, and actually get it on the road and drive it. You put the sport button on and, and you push the gas. It's very engaging. It's really uh, well planted on the road and it just brings out all the emotions and fun out of you. I highly recommend if you haven't had a uh, Z8 before, and if you have the means for it to bid on this beauty, own it, enjoy it, and if you want to get it out of your system, have it later on in the future. If you still are tired of it and want to sell it, give me a call and I'll be here to uh, represent the car again. I always stand behind all my cars. I'm proud of what I do and the cars we represent. We make sure that they go to good custodians, they're sorted and have no issues when they go to the next person. My name is Alec Cartio with Alec Cartier Presents, and I'm your host today with a 2001 BMW Z8.